It's Monday, August 5th, 2013. I'm Ross Miller, the 10.5th Doctor. It's a wibbly wobbly timey wimey thing. This is 90 Seconds on The Verge. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has one-click purchased the Washington Post for $250 million. Bezos will now be the sole owner once the sale is complete sometime in the next 60 days. Founded 136 years ago, the Post is best known for its reporting on the Pentagon Papers, the Watergate scandal, and recently the NSA and PRISM. Don't get your hopes up for any Prime membership bundles. Bezos himself owns the paper, not Amazon.com. CBS and Time Warner Cable have escalated their tip to the spectrum, and yes, we will all suffer for it. For the second time in a week, CBS stations have gone dark for Time Warner Cable subscribers in major markets like New York and Los Angeles. In retaliation, CBS blocked its online episodes for anyone with Time Warner Cable internet. And not to be left out of a good old-fashioned scuffle, DirecTV chimed in because they had a great analogy about customers in the CBS series Under the Dome. Time Warner Cable claims it's willing to offer CBS a la carte. Or, you know, alternatively, you can buy a Nintendo. Whatever. Finally, the next star of Doctor Who has a name. Peter Capaldi will portray the 12th Doctor later this year after current Doctor Matt Smith trips over his shoelaces on the field of Trenzalore and something something regeneration. The 55-year-old Scottish actor is best known for playing the foul-mouthed Malcolm Tucker in the satirical series The Thick of It. Peter Capaldi's first appearance, and subsequently Matt Smith's final one, will be the Christmas special this year. And that's it for today's top story. Oh, shit, not again.